So, to answer this question, let us come back to this aspect. Now, from the question or from the table, the additional information there, we have our service department. So, for production department A, we have 45, B15, and C30. Now, these values which we have here will represent the basis of apportionment, just like what we did in the repeated distribution method. The same thing applies here. These are the basis of apportionment, okay? So, under the basis of apportionment, we are going to have what? 45, 15, and 30, which is 45 ratio 15 ratio 30. 45 ratio 15 ratio 30, okay? That is what we are going to have there. So, when we come here, we have what? Department X. Department X. Remember, Department X is the first department before Department Y. So, we're going to have Department X. Then, total. Now, to determine what the value we're going to have here, it goes this way. Let us come back to this table. You can see we don't have any figure here. And here we have 10. Here we have 5. Here we don't have any figure. Now, this is for what? Service Department X, right? So we'll come back to this question, what we have here. This is for service department X. We have 450. For Y, we have this. Now, this particular section where we don't have anything, all right? This particular section where we don't have any value given, you come over to this place and you bring down the value here. So we have 4,850 and we subtract, just like what we did in the repeated distribution method. So when we subtract this value, 4850 minus 4850, it's zero, okay? We have nothing. Then this particular value, we have dash, then we bring it down. We have 5516.7, okay? So coming to this total, this particular value we have here that we are going to distribute to production department A, B, and C is what we are going to have as our total, okay? So we have 4800 and 50 all right so let's show our workings now for the distribution so to show our workings this is for what department x for department x this is department x right and we have 45 15 30 so we have 45 plus 15 plus 30 when we sum these three, it gives us what? 90, right? So we'll follow the same step again. 45 will be divided by what? 90. This is for department A, right? Divided by 90 times this value, 4,850. So 4,850. And we'll get the answer. For department B, we have 15 divided by 90 times 4850 we we'll get the value for department c we have 30 divided by 90 times 4850 so we are going to get the total now here we have 2425 okay here we have 808.3 and here we have 1616.7 one six one six point seven okay so these values we have we're going to bring it up here to add it up so we have two four two five two four two five b we have eight zero eight point three and c we have one six one six point seven so we'll continue we'll add it up we'll add these values up but for add these two values, we have 11,458.3. 11, 11,458.3. Okay? When we add this value, we have 8,375. Okay? And when we add the last one, we have 19,150. Okay? So you can see we are done with this. So... This is exactly what we need to do for the department X under the direct method. So we'll now move to the next department, which is department Y. So we have department Y. 
So, you remember the logic we did here? We have 5 and we have dash. So since there is no value represented here, we'll come over to the section where it is and we'll bring it down. So we have 5,516.7 and we are going to subtract this value. So when we subtract, we have nothing here, okay? Now there is no value here, so we'll bring it down again. There is nothing. Now you can see that both service departments X and Y has now become zero. Unlike what we did in the repeated distribution, what we'll continue to share and share until we get to zero. So for the direct method, it is just based on these two departments only, only twice, once to X and once to department Y. You can see the difference, okay? So you can't solve this when the question did not ask you to solve for the direct method. If it tells you to use the, the um, direct distribution, you use this. If it says the repeated distribution, we use the other method. If it is the algebraic method, which is the simultaneous distribution method, you also use that method. So you work according to what this question or the examination specifies. So, let us show our workings for this now. Meanwhile, what is our total? We are going to have 5,516.7. 5,516.7. Ratio what? We have 60 and 35. There is nothing here. So 60 and 35. Ratio 60 to 35. Okay? So for department Y, we have what? 60 plus 35, which is what we have here, right? 60, 35. It is equal to what? 95. So we are going to use 95 to get what we need. So for A, we have what? 60 divided by 95 times 5,516.7 5,516.7 So we we'll get the answer here Then for B We have what? 35 So this will be 35 divided by 95 times 5,516.7 And we we'll get an answer Okay? So, by the time we add these values Everything we have here gives us 34,000 or 3,000 484.2 For B, we have 2032.5 Okay? So, note, by the time we add these two values It will give us 5,516.7 By the time we add these three values It's also going to give us 4850 Alright? So you work with that Ensure you are always correct So we bring up this value for department A, we have 3,000, 3,484.2. For B, we have 2,032.5. For C, remember, there was no value given, so we have nothing. So we're going to add up everything we have now. So if we add everything here, we have 19,150. When we add these two values, it gives us 10,407.5. When we add this value, it gives us 14,942.5. Okay? Now, if you watch very well, the summation of these three values we have here still gives us 44,500. You remember, when we solved the primary distribution method, the total we have there was what? 44,500. It is just the same thing. It's still the same question, and you can see we still arrive at the same total. So the summation of these three values gives us 44,500. So, my good friends, use the same format to try out different methods, try out different questions, all right? Visit our website, click on the past questions. You will see a lot of questions we have there for you. Practice with them and try as much as you can. Ensure you understand these things so that once you are in the exam hall, you have the confidence that you have read. So you do your best and you leave the rest to God. Do have a blessed day. If you have questions or you need clarification, you send us a mail. If you need our assistance, we are there for you. If you need private tutors, we have a lot of hot, vibrant youths and staffs and graduates that will put you through. Do have a blessed day. Goodbye.